Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are continuing our Jianjiang campaign. And uh, I've changed my mind, as you can see from this arrow. Yes, I've changed my mind on something. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna run over here and uh, along there. No, no, we're gonna take the river. It'll be a lot quicker. It'll be a lot quicker. So we're gonna do that and uh, get in here. Take Anding. I think the rest of Anding is down here, actually. I think. Yeah, I think it's all this side of the Great Wall. Yeah, that's right. The Great Wall of China's here. Yep. It's here, not going anywhere. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go along the river. I think it's uh, it'll be a lot quicker, as you can see. If uh, if we go there, it's gonna be like three turns in March stance. If we go here, two turns to get to the coast, and then hopefully just the one to um, you know land and get to the get to the farm there. Hopefully anyway, hopefully. So uh, what are we doing? Probably ending the turn, right? Yeah, everything's building stuff. We're all good. Uh, oh, look at the clouds over the mountains there. Very pretty mountains too, as you can see. Little uh, oh, love it. Love all the little touches in this game. Anyway, let's uh, let's do a reform, shall we? Seeing as how they're offering us one. Uh, more military supplies might be nice. Permission to forage. I like that. Uh, extra replenishment as well. That's good too. Okay, this is huge. Extra food from fishing. We have no fisheries. That is so annoying. But uh, we can get, yeah, just straight up plus 25% food production there from farming. That's for food production in general. That's from farming. And that one... Cheaper things, income from peasantry. Yeah, alright, I think we might do this, the extra food production. Uh, that will give us a lot more sort of wiggle room for upgrading our food, um, well, our cities uh, for food, which would be good. That's a good thing. It's a good thing, guys. So, moving on. Battle is not always the answer. Uh, no, that's true. Military access, huh? You want an overseer? I don't need military access from you. Um, but I do want you to like me. Uh, so I might... I don't really want to give you an overseer. That actually seems very good. No, I don't. I don't know. No, surely not. Hmm. When, when commanding, I can't give that to. Yeah, I can't give that to uh, Jian Jiang. So no. So be it. No, I'm not going to do it anyway. I want to give that to my next army, basically. Oh, yep, they've taken it. And all right, no longer supporting yeah, them, I guess. Uh, he asked to join the coalition. Everyone disagrees, so no. Uh, although, in a way, it might be a good idea for him to join the coalition, because I am strong-arming him into giving me money. So, if he's in a nice coalition, hopefully he won't get trampled and stop paying me. So, um, that might be worthwhile. So, uh, oh, okay. Tao Tao just formed a coalition with Liu Biao. Uh, artful versus honourable. Your peaceful meditation is disturbed by an angry discussion between two of your retainers happening nearby. You listen to the argument. As a bastion of honour, I cannot allow this to stand. You have taken countless bribes for army rations, says the first. If you want, I can involve you, argues the second. How does half sound? You, they are unaware you are listening. Uh, let's see. This guy's the guy that is just the worst. So winning him over might be good. I think that would be great, actually. I'm going to go with Artful. We might, we might actually get them to, yeah, be friends. And that would be fantastic. That would help them out a lot. So, um... Uh, they are unaware you are listening. Uh, the man is industrious, if not salubrious. Uh, salubrious. You commended him for his effort, but with a stern warning. Good. Good. And... No, no, they're still not keen on each other, are they? No, not so much. Maybe. Maybe soon. Maybe soon, guys. Maybe soon. Alright. Really, really scared about where uh, Liu Bu might be, but uh, it looks like looks like this is looking after itself. Oh wow, he's got a trebuchet. That's cool. Huh. I like that. Um, yeah. So hopefully he's down here somewhere. Um, he might be here. Maybe. Could be anywhere. Honestly, he could be anywhere. He could be right up here, or here, or here. There's a lot of places he could be. Um, I can't see everywhere. I mean, hell, he could be there. Who knows? Who knows? Seems unlikely that he's there, but he might be. You never know. Right, uh, so how many more turns? Yeah, so a couple of turns. Good. Should be able to get there nice and quick. Certainly before uh, Yuan Chao can do it. Uh, Yuan Chao. So, make some good money. No. Oh, yep. Building. Good. Uh, extra income from peasantry and food production. We are getting food production here. So, that's nice. We will need another reform before we can build the next thing, though. Which one is it? This one. Yep, so we want this first. 
So alright, we'll have to get that and then this. We need to start making our way down here just so we can get our farms as good as they can be. Because our farms kind of suck. And that is a problem. That is a problem. But better commerce might be nice too. Uh, that requires... Uh, oh, tea. We need tea before we can build that. So I guess we'll just have to do this one for the extra commerce money. Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Excellent. So we are making some good money. Thing is, we can probably afford another city. Uh, not another city, another army. But I don't really want to do that yet, um, is the problem. I don't really want to build an army yet until I need to, because you can build armies very fast in this game. Um, you can, I mean, as long as you can afford um, the initial recruitment costs, you can buy an entire full stack in a single turn and then just wait four turns for it to muster. So it's pretty quick going. You want a lumberyard? Um, still want to do this marriage thing. And yet this just doesn't work uh, how I'd like, sadly. It just doesn't work. Um, I don't want to give him a lumberyard. I just don't want to do that. He doesn't like me a bit. We do have the non-aggression pact, so I don't have to worry about him screwing me quite so much. You know, I do have uh, Yuran Chao to help me out. Although all his armies are a bit busy at the moment. Um, campaigning across uh, Liu Bu's territory. So that is a bit tough. But um, I don't just don't want to give him a lumberyard and the fact that he won't be the faction heir if he's a part of my faction that's apparently not how it works because i guess that's the thing um your heirs aren't necessarily your kids um in this culture it's not you know it's not passed down the line you pick your heir so um so yeah as soon as he's not part of his faction anymore then yeah we're friends because we've got some family ties but there's no sort of legal contract there um, I guess it does give us a bit of a stake if this falls apart, but that's not something that happens in this game. So, no, it do I don't think it works. So, no. Very well. It is gutting, though. It is gutting. And yeah, I haven't tested it fully. I've tested it as well as I possibly can um, in the hour or two that I gave it. But uh, I can't really afford to spend more time trying to test that. So, again, let me know if you've found out otherwise, because that would be great. Maybe I will still do it. Uh, okay, Yuan Chao just declared war on Gong, Gong Xuanzang. Why? Why? Oh, this is a terrible idea. Why? You have no armies nearby. You have no armies nearby. Why would you declare war on him? You lunatic. And like, you're about to be attacked over here. Oh my god, my ally's a cretin. He's an absolute cretin. I'm not joining your war, mate. I'm not joining your war. I'm going to let him beat you up. And I'll just fight him later if I need to. So, yeah, you can ask Kong Rong to help you out. He's got some armies. Jesus. Oh, the lunatic. Alright. And Kong Rong's at war with Yoran Shu as well. Which means that's two of our coalition guys are fighting with people that we're actually getting on quite well with. Ravard Lord, minus 10 public order for local commandery. Luckily, she's busy. She's not in a commandery. That's good. Your general has a reputation for discipline, but has recently started taking sadistic pleasure in punishment. Even people accused of imagined slights or misdeeds are flogged. Their suffering justified as deterrence to future crimes, and there are few soldiers in the army who have remained unscathed by the whip. Shame, because these are all brand new. So that's a bit gutting. Alright. Head over to Anding. Make way. Ugh. Ready rough. Very rough. Yeah, I might have to... I'm out to find a new ally. He loves me, though. Wow. Do you want to give me some tribute? Nah, not so much. Pity. It's worth a try. <laughs> it's worth a try, guys. Uh, Alright, we're, we're going to take this farmland, though, which will be good. And there are salt mines and things up here, too. Um, and he's got the horse pastures, but I could get the town. You know, I could still take this stuff. I could still take this stuff. That's the thing, you're not so... Um, what's good in this game? You're not so reliant on having the full... Um, province essentially the full commandery you can just have the odd thing it's just that if you have the full commandery it kind of helps because you can do assignments and things like that um, although you can't do many assignments until you start leveling up um this thing this thing oh wow we're actually making good progress here Ooh, good 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 happy with that uh yeah so let's start start taking more territory hopefully we'll have spies soon i really want to spy it's been too long you would be a fitting what do you want Military support against uh, Yuran Shu. I mean, he's right over the... Oh, wow, actually. Uh, yeah, Liu Bei is taken. Liu Bei is taking a lot of territory over here. Um, 
God, where? So he's got that territory. He's got Luoyang, well, the trade port of Luoyang, and the lumberyard of Lu, uh, Luoyang, and he has Nanyang. Nanyang, I think it is. Uh, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. He isn't that powerful right now. So, I might. I might use this army to create, uh, use this money to create an army. That might be a laugh. Could march over here, take over a load of uh, Luoyang. I would like a trade port. I would like a trade port. It will put up um, uh, your trade uh, power, which is good. So we get just better, more money from trade, basically, if you have a trade port, which is really good. So that might be worth doing. Obviously, we're going the wrong way right now. But yeah, if I make another army in uh, Hodong, that could be good. So sorry, sorry, Yuran Shu. Uh, My bad. And uh, oh, yeah, here he comes. Yeah, we're going to have to create an army. It's happening. All right, we are rolling in money. Excellent, excellent. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, that's fine. Doesn't really bother me. Now, let's see here. Can we reach it one turn? We cannot. Okay, that's disappointing. Next turn, then. Next turn, we'll take that farm. I want more food. I want more food to pay. Uh, well, to feed all of my all my cities that I might have one day. Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, could go with that. Could go with commerce. Um, I might hold off until I've raised that army, to be honest. So, Adon. And... Hmm. Let's see. So, I could have my faction air start an army. That would be pretty cool. I quite like that. Um... So who seems good? Uh, that guy seems expensive, but I think that's just because of the cav. Hmm. He has a lot of resolve. He has a lot of resolve. Extra health. I like that. I do want someone who can, who can fight, and he seems to be the only champion here. So I will want a champion, I think, leading, because he's going to be my duelist, essentially. He's going to be the one that's going to be fighting people for me. Um, he's not bad at either. To be honest, vanguards aren't terrible at that either. But I will want a cavalry commander, so I might get him, him, and... Do I want a commander as well? Excels at inspiring friendly troops, but weaker in melee. Best group with red news and melee cavalry. Um, yeah, I think it should be good to have a strategist. I think a strategist is a good idea, because they really help archers. Which is nice, with that cunning. So, alright. I'll have my faction air do it. She'll lead the charge. Very cheap to recruit, too. There is because all she has is militia archers, which is kind of nice. Uh, okay, this guy that I was thinking of getting, because he's the champion, doesn't get on with her. That is a shame. That is a pity. He doesn't either, and I need a cavalry commander. You little sods. You, Dan. Um, <laughs> love it. Uh, well, he gets on with her. With her. And he's got some cav. I could just make melee cav with him instead of shot cav, which could be better. So I might try that. Um, hmm. Near level one, though. Near level one. Go get another strategist. God, she just gets on well with all the strategists. He doesn't care. Yudan doesn't care about anybody. Hmm. Uh, Chi. Uh, Chi. Yuren. 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that entirely. Uh, actually, I think it's Rin. Chi, Chi Rin. Anyway. Or is it Yen? Or is it Ren? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Forgotten. I know I know what that is. I just can't remember it. Um, my bad. So yeah, I get this guy. Lead strongly. And who gets on with both of them? <laughs> well, you Dan gets on with him. He gets on with both, which I like. Be a lot of archers. Be very archer heavy is the problem. But I can't really afford to have people that dislike me. Hmm. Alright, what I might do is I might wait a turn. So, you, get in there. So, uh, yep, mustering already. So, let's recruit. And we'll get some more things here. So, she can get crossbowmen and repeat her crossbowmen, huh? Ooh. Hoo hoo. And trebuchets, but this be. I don't think we're gonna need trebuchets. We're not gonna be sieging a bunch of cities. Uh, really, with them. We don't need the trebuchets smashed down the walls. I'd rather just go with crossbowmen. They've got that good armor piercing 
for uh, killing killing a bunch of uh, scary boys. So I think we should do that. Also, how much ammunition will these guys have? Let's see. Ammunition. That's range damage, range attack. Ten. Wow, puts up to ten from eight. Because she has very high um, cunning. So that's interesting. Could get a couple of these. That could be very fun. Alright, couple hidden axes. And you, you just need a load of melee cav. Ooh, you can get Jan sword. Guard cavalry, huh? Again, expensive. Very expensive. And my income's dropped a bit. So uh, that's a pity. They cost a lot. I'm just going to have to go with the militia. And uh, then some... Yeah, probably just some um, cheap spears. Because that's axemen and archers. All that is weak to cav. And these guys aren't necessarily great against cavalry either. So I'm going to need some cheap spearmen here. So there we go. Let's do that. My income is shite. But we have another army that we can go attack people with, which is nice. No duelist, though. So we're going to have to stay out of a fight. Uh, what can I give her? Uh, if Prime Minister, eh, she is the heir. So plus two public order faction wide. That's pretty great. We already have one of those. Lovely. Uh, extra campaign movement speed when commanding. That's nice, too. Uh, oh, wedge formation. Oh, cool. I should give that to someone with cavalry. Um... Yeah, let's do the public order as well. Let's just get everyone super, super stoked. Uh, cunning and satisfaction. Let's put up a cunning more. Uh, let's do that. Done. And him. I'm going to want him to stay happy too. So let's get the water clock for the replenishment. And let's give him uh, wedge formation for his cav. I think that could be good. Brilliant. He doesn't have much cav. Hmm. Dunno. Extra speed for his retinue, which I like. So these cav can go faster. And uh, these spears can actually get in the correct place. Let's do that too. Excellent. Weapons. Okay. Ooh, hello. I have the heavenly sword, don't I? I'd forgotten about that. Um, What's she got? She's got an alright noble sword there. Heavenly sword's better though. I mean, she's my faction now. I've got to give her a tasty sword, right? Even if she's not going to be in melee, I want to give her a tasty sword. And you, I guess, can have the uh, the noble sword. Just as a sign of good faith. Thank you, magistrate slash general. Thanks. So yeah, let's try and take that in a couple of turns. Why well, I say in a couple of turns? Maybe a little while. Maybe a little while. Three more turns for all that stuff to muster. Uh, it would have been four turns, but it's only three turns because of our faction trait, which is nice. Well, our uh, character's trait of uh, Jian Jiang. She's got one, well, she's got minus one mustering turns, which is really useful. It is super useful. Look at that. There's the Emperor. <laughs> That's so good. God, I can't believe Kong Rong managed to do that. Cheeky sod. Because, yeah, not that aggressive a faction, usually. Really not that aggressive, usually. Anyway, uh. Looks like there's a level up. She has a level up. Cool. Flaming shot. Didn't even need to think about it. Didn't even need to think about it. It's flaming shot, guys. How can I not get flaming shot? So, let's take that farmland. Can't wait. Uh, Liu Bu, he's still moving. And ambushing, apparently. He's trying to ambush. Yuan Chao is still moving. Uh, Gao Gan wants me, wants me to fight against uh, Gong Sun Zan. I'm not doing that. I just can't. I cannot do that. You're going to have to fight them off yourself. I can't deal with that. And, uh... Gong Sun Zan's probably just demolishing my uh, my allies right now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he has so many armies here. Yeah, that's all his. And uh, nothing, nothing here to stop him. That's all. Yeah, that's all Lube. Yeah, there's nothing here. Like all of his armies are over here. He's not even moving back. Oh, he's moving this army. You're gonna need to move more than that, mate. You're gonna need to move more than that. Jesus. All right, let's take it. This should be nice and easy, um, to the point where I think I'm just going to delegate it. Um, I'll probably lose more than I otherwise would, which is kind of a pity, but hopefully I won't lose much. So, 113. Easy. That's easy. No worries there. Okay, got some info me. And let's occupy. And, oh hell yes. Uh, we have some new toys. Uh, the time for the new order has come. As empires and dynasties crumble as you forge your plans of conquest and subjugation, go forth and see seize your fortune and your rightful place. I intend to. Uh, so we got an extra two grand for that, apparently. 
Um, your, notoriety, your notoriety increases. Outlaw. Words of your deeds have started to spread. You are rising in power and a trail of destruction is in your wake. You are called Vagabond. You never settle and your unpredictability and fury are feared. Yet they do not know the depths of your rage. Show them. Excellent. Is that the yellow turban? That is the yellow turbans. Huh. Okay. Was not expecting them to have taken like all of the... Okay. Cool. Cool. So that infamy grows. Good news. Dynasty. Why should the nobles of the Empire be the only ones with significance? I've earned respect, which is more than can be said for so many others. Okay, so now, what this does, it gives us our undercover network. <laughs> That's right. How cool is that? He's got a grudge against Kong Wong. Oh, okay. Huh. They need to banish them. Oh, wow. Sucks to be you, huh? Uh, let's see. Yang Tong. Li Mang. Hmm. See, where should I put you? That could work. It's not a bad idea to undercut them. You know? While he's eating my ally, it might be good to start trying to weasel my way into his court. That could help me a lot later down the line. Like a hell of a lot. So yeah, I think we might have to do that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to send this guy, because why not? Yeah, I don't know who he is. <laughs> It'll be fine. So, what can you do? Well, nothing yet. These need to grow. So yeah, guys, um, I just realized I haven't shown you this before. Yeah, I haven't shown you this at all. So uh, yeah, so we get to find out a load of things about the enemy faction, which is fun. Uh, it will change depending on how we've been recruited. So it will take him a turn to get into the into position. Uh, see, preparing to spy. And it'll start off just with this this panel unlocked and then these will unlock over time as we get into better positions of power um, against him so we can basically ask for better positions once our power is big enough and we can do a bunch of other things which would be fun which i'm going to show you in more detail but uh yeah there we go we have a spy now we have a spy also court so we have a chancellor position so if we have a look it's going to tell us what we get for it so it will put their salary up a fair bit but it does give us other bonuses which is kind of nice so what i could do is actually put my faction heir in there because she will remain the faction heir even if she's chancellor, I believe. Pretty sure. So, nope, that will remove from faction heir position. Okay, never mind then. Never mind, it says so down there. Um, who's loyal? Don't know. I mean, it'll give... Oh, it'll give this guy a ton more satisfaction. Him? No. Uh, so, I'll give this guy a lot more satisfaction. So, that might be worth doing. Might keep him happy. Because no one's particularly happy right now. Oh, he's he's really happy. So I could do that. So faction-wide bonus plus 15% income from peasantry. It will cost an extra 250 for him to do this position. So it might not actually pay for itself yet. It might not. But we'll see. We will see. I doubt it, but we will see. So, hmm, actually, let's have a look. Uh, where's our treasury? There it is. So, uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. Commanderies. Peasantry. We're only getting 418 from peasantry right now. We're getting most of our money from industry. Oh, also, we can change our tax level now. This is all new stuff. So we can change our tax level. So uh, we get less food and uh, more public order and less tax. So just putting down tax, it's food and, and money. Or you can put it up. So, kind of cool. So you just get a lot more stuff out of it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, in a pinch, not a bad idea to put that up a bit, but I just find it's pretty staggering decrease to public order. So, you know, uh, let's see. Yeah, just put our income up a fair bit, if you have a look at the top. So, yeah, just, I don't think it's really worth changing this most of the time, just because of the public order, or just missing out on stuff. A plus six public order I've never really needed. Um, I never found that important. But yeah, it's nice to know you can do that. Um, right, what else is new? The Faction Council. So I need a Chancellor. And this will let me get missions. To keep, uh, well, keep my Council happy, basically. So we will need to put someone into this position. But I don't want to do that yet. Also, the Administrator, we can do this too. So, is that going to cheer you up? Plus 12 Satisfaction. He's currently, un he's currently employed as an assignee. Oh, I see. Uh, he won't care. He doesn't care. He apparently doesn't feel the need to be in any position of power, this guy. Um, 
Whereas these two would both enjoy it. And also, they get slightly different bonuses uh, for their administered uh, commandery. It will uh, it will allow us to field more factions. Not factions, more positions. Whoops. Which is good. Uh, extra income from all sources in the administered commandery. Mm. And uh, also lower com uh, corruption in the administered commandery. It says he's not going to be administering. Neither of these guys are. He might, because I've got nothing better for him to do. So... Hmm... I might. Might just do this guy. Maybe. Maybe I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Because none of these seem profitable to me yet. So I'll wait until someone's like, I hate you and I want to leave. Uh, he kind of wants to leave a bit. Which isn't great. Desire's high court position. Yeah, Tang Shu might be a good idea. Uh, these two aren't particularly happy either. God, I hate how miserable he is. He, he wants a higher court position. Let's give it to him. He's our general, right? We should make him happier. So, yeah, let's give it to him. Let's give it to him. Just so he's happy. And uh, now we need to figure out where we want him. So, uh, God, what will he do for us if he's in these places? Um, I'm not sure it'll tell us, will it? Let's have a look. Is it... Wait, no. Here? No. Here? Here? Or is it this first one? Yeah, I think it's just this stuff that's affecting it. Um, the missing commandery, so better construction costs, extra population growth, um, and satisfaction. Nope, no satisfaction. So okay, it's just it's going to be construction costs and population growth for somewhere. So let's put them in our home province. Cool. So he's now an administrator of uh uh, tai Yuran. Cool. So we did that. We did it, guys. We did it. So we're taking this. Uh, yellow turbans. Hanging out. So that's uh, Gongdu. So Gongdu is taken over here. All over. Which is kind of annoying. Makes me think that Liu Bu is actually just down here. And this is basically all he has strength. That's where all of his strength is left. So let's take this stuff out. This guy I might want to make friends with. I want the livestock, the salt mines, the animal tamers. Um, I want this stuff. And preferably the town too. But I don't really want to fight these guys yet. Speak quickly. Uh, even right now. Hmm. Alright, similar. They really don't like me because of the cultural differences. So they'll probably declare war on me pretty soon. Which is a bit of a pain. But I think we can take Gongdu. So it should be alright. Maybe? I hope it's alright. Oof. Brutal. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't want to fight these guys. He's raiding, isn't he? Are you raiding? It definitely looks like he's raiding. Oh, oh, yeah. Little torches flying out. He's definitely raiding. Absolutely not. Jerk. Uh, let's see. Local characters. Yeah, minus ten. So I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Oh, no, it's her. She's been whipping everyone. Anyway. Uh, that's still building up. And, oh. Dubay's taken... Luo Yang already. Alright, well I guess she can head over this way, huh? Yeah, I can have a fight with her mum. Her and her mum can fight side by side and just cleanse this whole area. <coughs> Excuse me. Of uh, people that disagree with us. I mean, that could work, right? That could work. Right, let's go to diplomacy. Quick deal, because I want to quickly have a look if anyone fancies paying me. No, no they do not. Damn. Darn it. Right, alright, moving on. Moving on. Let's keep this, uh, let's keep this bull rolling. We would not be your enemy. Uh, you want food and a load of stuff for a non-aggression pact. How about just don't declare war on me? Your choice. You know, how about that? Alright, your Aunt Xiao's coming. It seems like, uh, Liu Bei is just gonna wipe him out, though. Liu Bei's just winning that war handily. So I don't think I have to worry about it. Uh, Liu Dei asked to join your coalition. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm stealing money from him. Uh, you? I mean, they're all saying no anyway. So, you're on Chow's up for it though. So maybe, maybe he will win over the others soon. Let's have a look. Uh, so this guy, be nice to destroy him. Uh, oh, Tao Tao just declared war on Liu Bei. Wow. 
and Kong Rong vassalized. Liu Bu, you're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, that is so annoying. I was going to fight him. Damn it. Great. So now he's part of our coalition, essentially. Which means, I guess that's a good thing. Oh, and he's declared war on uh, Gongdu. All right, let's 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 join the war then. Let's join that war. Spy dispatched. Okay, we have a spy here. Our spy has been dispatched to another faction. There, they will travel the land, attempting to integrate them, ingratiate themselves with the nobility, while simultaneously scouting for us and building our undercover network. Whether they will make an impression and successfully infiltrate the faction is uncertain, but we will nonetheless benefit from their clandestine efforts. What do you wish, my lord? Cool stuff. Um, very annoyed, though. Yubu, I wanted to take his land up here. God damn it. Yuran Chao and Kong Rong are really screwing me here. Yeah, this is the one time I feel like my, um, uh, my coalition buddies are really testing my patience. Um... It's not good. It's not good. Right. Ooh, hello. Should be all maybe? What's my... Only 700 still. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. So... Maybe... Just maybe... I should build an inn or something. Um... Let's see. How much more money from industry will this get me? Not actually that much. Oh, potentially a fair bit, actually. For the master lacquerware. That could be good. And a big, big chunk for commerce as well. In fact, that's just way better, isn't it? Yeah, I need resources for that, though. I need resources for that. What do I need for that? What is this? Lumber. Oh. I have that. Cool. Alright. Let's try and work towards this, then. I can't see how that could fail. So, state workshops. Let's go with all the industry buildings. Alright, this is industry capital of the world. And hopefully it will actually make us some good money. So, let's up that food production over there. And now I've spent all my money. Yes, that's about right. So one more turn here. Yep, one more turn, and I have that army. Uh, Liu Bei is still here. Um, oh, so annoying. Every time I want to go attack somewhere, someone takes it over. It's a real pain. All right, tell you what. You there. Do you want... Um, can't, can I? No, no. Do I have, a, do I have an available trade? Yeah, three or four. Okay, in that case, quick deal. Uh, wow, nobody wants a trade agreement, apparently. Or no one can do one, I guess, is probably more accurate. Okay, so, I was going to go down here, wasn't I? So, satisfaction for champions, but I was going to be able to get population growth, and then later, that one. So, that'll unlock better farms, I think? No, these are storehouses. Okay, so these are the ones that go in cities. And... Are these all the kind of farms? Oh, tea garden, tea plantation, and food market. Okay. Hmm. Okay, are these are the farm buildings? Yes. I think. Um, maybe. These again seem like city ones. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, those are the... No, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what any of this is anymore. My brain is gone. Right. Uh, that's extra food. Straight up, which is nice. Extra military supplies, supplies are nice. Oh, I can just start heading up. Yeah, 10% from industry is actually going to be pretty massive. So, screw it. Let's do that. <laughs> Should give us another big chunk of money. Because we're making a lot of money through our taxation. Specifically through industry. So, that 10% is actually a lot bigger than any other 10% could be. And yeah, I was going to attack him. Well, I was going to head towards attacking him. Can't now. So what, do I get a war with this guy? Just so I can take ending? I mean, maybe. Maybe. Uh, hmm. Yuran Shu isn't really doing much right now. Yeah, they're pretty crippled, huh? Yeah, it's like Liu, Bi uh, Liu Biao has taken over. God. Huh. So he has two territories there and one there. I think that could be his entire... I think that could be everything. I think that could be all he has now. Why must we speak? Nope, not yet. He is weaker than me, though. I think that might be all he has. I think those cities might be all he has. So yeah, I'll see if I can get him to give me payment soon. See if he sticks around long enough. May as well. Every little bit of money I can get, you know. Every little bit of money I can get is good. So yeah, I think I might want to fight these guys. 
Three units I've never seen before, which could be fun. Like peasant warriors. Hmm. Yeah, very tempted. Very tempted to go to war with these guys. Just because they're here. I know, there's no strategy about it, but because they're yellow turbans, everyone hates them. So, no one likes these guys. Um, oh, right, this is how everyone feels about me. God, everyone hates me too, huh? Apart from him, he loves me. Loves me. Right. Uh, mm. Dunno, guys. Dunno. I think we might just go to war with these guys, because they're closest, and I need to start building an empire. I'm sort of just penning myself in a lot of places. I mean... Gongswin's arm, I could deal with. Maybe. Come fight him. It seems like he's been pushed off. Uh, let's have a look. He's still at war with... Yeah, he's still at war with him. So, I don't know where his armies are gone. Unless they actually got defeated somehow. That seems unusual. I don't know where his armies have gone. You'd think he'd still have some. Also, we have that non-aggression pact with him, don't we? I think. Um, yeah? Yeah, we do have a non-aggression pact. There it is. And trade partnership. Ah. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him. Don't want to mess with him yet. Although, actually, if his armies have been destroyed... Do, much good to do you want to give me tribute? Nah, not yet. Damn. That's a pity. That is a pity. Alright, I think I might take these guys on. Just because they're here. Might be tough, though. Might be tough. This could be a bad idea. This could be a very bad idea. So, let's hang out in Anding. Till they're happier. Yep. And, uh, they can sit still for now. I'll just keep them there. In case, um, someone attacks me. Because, yeah, that'll defend this area a bit. Moving on. Alright, he's still moving. Looks like he's heading to, uh, Gongswin's arm. We detest you, but this must end. Oh, he wants peace. Oh, yeah, sure. Fine. Yeah, this... this that, uh, that war was just irritating, frankly. That's just an inconvenience, because, you know, the territory I wanted is gone. So, and someone paid me to be in the war, so it's actually worked out pretty damn well. Uh, okay. Uh, Jie Long declared war on Lie Bu, which means Kong Rong is now at war with him. Fair enough. But yeah, Kong Rong's doing crazy good here. Is it my coalition? I'm very surprised. Very surprised he managed that. Um, so yeah. So, whoops. That's not what I wanted to click on. That is super close. <laughs> this could work. This could work. Because, I mean, that is so close. So, I am trustworthy, apparently. Yeah. Again. Uh, let's do it. Yep. We are. In agreement. We are. I'm glad we could agree. <laughs> and now we're earning two grand from tributaries. Which means Wisdom. that... Oh, God, us delaying building the um, tribute halls is actually a real pity. That is actually a real pity, because uh, 8% um, is is pretty good. That'd be a big increase. So, let's put up population growth here, I think, to begin with. Or extra commerce might be nice, because we're getting a small bonus to that here anyway. Um, but no, population growth. Let's get, let's get our populations up. Uh, let's build that, because it's right there, and I can, and that's all I can build there. And, okay, we're starting to earn some good money again, thanks to bullying. Uh, yeah, guys, remember, bullying, it's it's great. It really is. It's wonderful. So, uh, remember to bully everyone always. Um, yeah, don't don't actually take away that lesson. That's a horrible lesson. It's just how this is playing out somehow. So, you guys are quite happy, but you'll be very, like, eh soon. But that's fine. Once I take these other places over, it'll be good. Uh, so, Toolmaker. Like, just in between bits of Great Wall, is it? Uh, I guess it's just on the outside. Interesting. Is it on the other? So, Anding is actually... The Great Wall is in the middle of Anding. Which seems unusual. Fine. Fine. Hmm. Alright. No worries. Uh, oh, and that's Anding too, huh? Wow, Anding's quite big. But hey, I've got farmlands. That's nice. And I have no money to upgrade that. Oh. Poor farmland. It's actually a bit of a shame. I feel like I should probably stop upgrading something elsewhere. Stop upgrading that, because that population growth isn't as important as getting this upgraded now, so I can get a slightly stronger garrison in uh, in this part of the world. 
So let's do it that way around. Okay, next turn. Ministry access. You want me to pay for that? No. Why do people keep wanting me to pay for things that they want? That's not okay. Okay, Yuran Chao's heading over there. That is definitely good news. Because I need him to bully uh, Gong Sun Zan a little bit. At least keep him back. Um, so that way, if all his armies get destroyed, I can make him pay me tribute, which would be very funny. Uh, Kong Rong's uh, requested Gao Gan join their war against uh, Gong Du. Yeah, fair enough. In fact, destroyed New Day. Oh, they were giving me tribute, weren't they? Yeah, just lost a couple hundred. Oh, that's sad. If only he was able to join that coalition that he wanted to be in. You know the one. Uh, oh, extortion. All right, brilliant. We just got some bonus money for the extortion that we're doing. You are not above threatening violence to extort gold. And besides, if your victims were honourable, they would seek retribution rather than appeasement. That's amazing. He he dislikes us more, but we got more money out of him, which is pretty funny. Right, how about you? Do you want to give me tribute yet? No, not so much. If that gets to around 10, I'm going to give him an ultimatum. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Yeah, you can be a real bully uh, once you start building steam. As well, as you can see. So, okay, I want to head to Gongdu. So, don't have line of sight. Get moving. Trespassing. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Hmm, I wonder where Gongdu is. Let's have a look. Uh, hang on. Oh, can I not? Hmm. Okay, I can't seem to demand tribute from this guy. I guess I can only ask tribute from the sort of... I don't know. I mean, he's, a re he's a rebel, so I guess it's not really going to work, is it? Um, that's unusual. That's unusual. Can't actually ask for tribute from him. In which case, he needs to go. Because I don't want people kicking around who I can't extort. Those people have no use to me whatsoever. So, I'm going to need to fight him. That that settles it, guys. That settles it. I am not so, oh, don't want to do it yet. No, no, not yet. I'll continue to trespass. <laughs> continue to trespass for a bit first. Let's, uh, okay, so yeah, I've got plenty, plenty of military supplies, which is nice. And I guess you can just loiter here. Go and ambush starts, because might as well. Might as well. And let's see what happens next. Yuan Chao is heading home. Good. Good. Like the look of that. I mean, there's no need to loiter around here anymore. Got some more money. Lovely. Matang just declared war on uh, Gongdu. Uh, oh, God. Yuan Chu is getting attacked again. Honorable versus de deceitful. Uh, ah. I want to do this one just because it'll win him over. And I want... Um, uh, Tong Chan uh, to be friends with Zhen uh, Jiang. So, I need that to happen. You're in discussion with one of your scholars. You put it to him that honor is the ultimate virtue, unassailable and true. He returns that honor and virtue may make one's soul rich, but never one's pockets. Penniless is a virtuous man. Victorious is the pragmatic leader. And then I guess we'll lie to him and he'll love it. I don't know. Uh, he's right. A knife in the back solves most problems, beginning with him. Oh dear. Awkward. But uh, apparently loves it. Apparently loves it. Absolutely loves it. What is this? Oh, he's trespassing. Oh, right, okay. No worries. Snow, snow doesn't like me so much, though. But at least he has a level up. Uh, charge negation. And immune to fear and terror. That's nice. Mighty knockback. Gives his retinue a better charge bonus. Which is actually pretty good, because these guys have good charge bonuses. I mean, it'd be better if it's cavalry, but... You know, what can you do? I think that'll be nice. Extra charge speed. Um, hmm. That's not really going to do anything for us. Uh, hmm. Our authority will do something, but not that useful. So yeah, it's between these two. I think we'll do that for the extra charge bonus. Cool. Good news. So, should we take this then? I think we probably should, huh? I think we probably should. Oh, the toolmaker to begin with might be nice. Has a bit of garrison. Yeah, let's go over here, see what's up. I want to do some exploring, because I want to know where the hell their armies are. Apparently not up here. Apparently they're down here. Probably at a stalemate with these two. In which case, hopefully I can do a bit of land grabbing over here. So, moving on. Um, 
No. Oh, he's on minus two now. Crap. Sorry, mate. Can't. Can't. He's busy with wars, though. He can't really afford to declare war on me right now. So that's okay. Oh, I didn't build anything, did I? Oh, sod it. My bad. My bad. I'm too eager to deal with stuff over there. Alright, so. Ending. Get bigger farms. And yep, more wars going on. <laughs> Kranshu. They're really struggling, aren't they? Um, I, God, I hope they can keep it together. I really hope he can keep it together. Because I'm getting a lot of money out of him. I want that money. Uh, Alright, extra industry. I mean, it's all just extra industry everywhere, isn't it? With these guys. They love a bit of it. Um, could put my city up. My city level up, which would be nice. Uh, will that give us another slot? Four building slots. It will. That gives us another building slot. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Then we can build a tribute hall. Maybe. Uh, okay. Income from peasantry or better food production? Go with more income from peasantry. Our food is actually looking okay at the moment. We can always convert it. And, oh, and Hidong also has one, so... Let's go with... A little bit more commerce, maybe. Uh, yeah, a little bit more commerce. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Right. So, there's an army. There's an army. Of... Hon? Who? Make it quick. Who are you? Tribute? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea how much territory he has. Oh, he's got some over here, too. Okay. Uh, is he a Gong De? He is. Alright, in that case, let's bully Gong De together. And, uh, let's see. Trade territory. I don't know, give me... He only has Anding? And they're untradeable ones. So he might actually give me Anding. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Confirm? Nothing. What? Okay, I don't know how that UI works, but whatever. We don't need to trade. We're going to take it by force. Bring it. Destroy. Although I just realised I should have, I should have asked one of my allies if they wanted me to join this fight. That's what I should have done. Whoops. Oh well. Build some sappers and things. They're going to start starving soon. They don't have that big a garrison though, so I could probably just delegate. So uh, let's continue the siege. Show rage. And hopefully we'll take. Uh, Take a city. Because once again, the place I wanted to go to got taken by someone else. Again. Every goddamn time. Um, yep, and he's he's pushing out now. Ugh, why? And yeah, I just can't, I can't get anything from this guy, which kind of sucks. Yeah, well, I can take his territory. It's all good. Uh, let's have a look. So I've got my buildings going. Um, income, looking pretty nice. And we should be able to take that pretty soon. So, Yuan Xiao is still moving. Hopefully he can hold off Gong Xun Zhan. Uh, he wants to join the coalition. No one cares, buddy. No one wants you here. Sorry, mate. Again, though, he's giving me a lot of money, so I kind of wish that he would be a part of it. You, you want a non-aggression pack? Nope. A stubborn refusal. Nope. I plan on fighting you later. <laughs> Sorry. Disease. Oh, again? Seriously? At your instruction, dark deeds take place under cover of night. Our agents charged with deadly purpose, poison the enemy's water supply, and even now the toxins course through the foes' bodies. Disease begins to spread yeah, behind the walls. Soon, they must fall. Oh, so that's a good thing? Oh, it's just the enemy forces. Oh, damn. So does that mean they're already suffering attrition? No, not yet. And, yeah, okay, so I don't know how that's really affecting anything. Maybe it'll be another turn, and we'll just see... They'll be injured, I'm not sure. So I guess I continue the siege. No worries. No worries there. Um, do I send this guy out? Just try and... Do I send her out? To try and get, like, get us anything. Quickly. I can just follow these guys. For protection. Or I can just head up here. I might actually do that. Let's see, how many turns? Many. Many turns. Hmm... I think I'm going to do it. I want more armies over here. I need to start grabbing this stuff quicker. And Kong Rong is getting too powerful, in my opinion. He's getting too powerful. Even though he... Nope, go that way. Uh, even though he's actually got very little of the peninsula. I mean, Liu Bei seems to be just 
killing it right now. Absolutely killing it. He's got all along here. And potentially, like, all of this. Although, actually, that seems a different colour. I wonder who does have this. Huh. Doesn't say who has it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Right. Uh, I want to quickly check diplomacy. And quick deal. See if anybody... Nope. Demand tribute. Nobody. Lame. And yeah, I can't get a trade agreement, sadly. No one has any available. Which is a pity. Support vassal independence. Time out, huh? Who are you a vassal of? And where do you live? Where even is he? Do you know where he is? Never even met him. Hmm. Not for subservience. That just sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, alright. We're done. We're done with that. Apparently, not much to do in diplomacy at the moment. Let's do another reform. Let's do another one of these. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, so I was, ugh, trying to navigate that whole bottom bit is a nightmare. Um, extra military supplies would be nice. That would keep us fighting a little longer. Uh, but extra money from commerce. Or, ooh, extra trade influence. And, huh, plus 4k population growth for all counties. That sounds great, actually. That sounds very nice. Huh. I like that. Where am I? What are we doing down there? Okay. So, you there. We must replenish our reserves. Oh, you can't move yet. I did that this turn. And I suppose I I suppose I looked at this this turn too, didn't I? Yeah, no one more turn. Mercy. Okay, next turn. And hopefully we can start taking some bloody territory. Um, I bet, you know, I'll be about to take that and then suddenly they'll... I don't know, they'll confederate with a faction next door and I'll, I'll lose it. Um, he wants to pay me to declare war against a faction. I mean, I just... I just stopped the war against him and I have an extortion racket going there, so I'm sorry, mate. Can you stop being at war with him? Could you? I need him to grow in strength a bit. Have I... Uh, oh, Swanter. Yeah, do we get Swanter? Get Swinter. Brilliant. I like that. I like that idea. Rational thought elevates the spirit. Cool. Cool stuff. Okay, so someone else in the coalition with eyes down here. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay, he's doing alright. And you know, I've never actually seen this part of the map. Never. Never seen this part of the map. Uh, so, what's weird, uh, Sven Jan starts with territory here, and he starts here. So, none of this territory is actually Sven Jan's. It's all, uh, yeah. He's moved out quite a bit from there. Which is kind of cool. Kind of cool to see. God, this terrain's gorgeous. What cause is that, I wonder? Really interesting looking. But yeah, so that's all a bit ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, don't care about that. Uh, yeah, again... Not fussed about that. And peace treaty. At least he's at peace with someone. And, uh, oh, and these two are at peace now. Which is sort of a pity. Uh, go again, invited. Yes, I was there. And, uh, oh, and he just left a coalition. Alright. Brilliant. So, I can upgrade this yet again. I mean, why the hell not, right? I'm getting a lot of food out of this. And, uh, much bigger, uh, garrisons. Which is very nice to see. Doesn't look like I can build anything else yet, though. So, you head up here, and let's see how these guys are doing. So, yep, they are starting to lose troops. So, I guess continue the siege. Although, actually, um, how damaged is this place? should say, wall strength is 100% still. Okay. So, yeah, continue the siege then. Cool. And hang on, I am building, I am sapping the walls and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll happen soon. Cool. Continue then. Continue on. As you were. As you were. And you keep heading up there. Lovely. And yeah, really concerned about this guy just taking over everything. A bit worried about that. Um, got some interesting little routes through here, though, you can see. On the borders. But yeah, this guy is... I mean, look at this. Look. At... Oh, wait, hang on. He's got this too. 
Okay, Swinter has too much. He has too much. This is terrifying. This is actually very scary. He is huge. I mean, I say that. I guess the everything's a bit more spread out. But still, I mean, I have that. You know? And he has this and this. He has two chunks that are like the same size as mine. So, yeah, he's going to be a bit of a rival, methinks. Uh, methinks that verily. Uh, right. So, we'll attack that next turn, I think. Oh. More yellow turbans on their way. Interesting. Uh, request to join the coalition. He asked to join the coalition, and everyone's like, no. Get out of here. Off you go, mate. So, yeah, I'm going to take this now, because there's an army on this way. Uh, Alright, more vassals going on. Makes sense. Peace treaty, good. Lucky shot, wolves. Nice. Nice. Uh, sometimes fate intervenes Before in proceedings. Oh. Things must be shed. Oh, I thought you were about to do a speech. Anyway, sometimes fate intervenes in proceedings. A lucky shot from your army exposes a weakness in the enemy defences. Do not let this opportunity go to waste. Attack this point at once. Excellent. Destroyed a wall. Just for, like, no reason. So that's kind of cool. So, you there. Keep moving. Good stuff. And you have a look-see. Um, so yeah, pretty damn injured. I could just, could just auto-resolve that, but I feel like we're going to do a battle today. I don't think we've done a battle today, have we? Which is a bit of a pity. That's the nature of this game. That's the nature of the game. Uh, sometimes you're just trying to wrangle uh, diplomacy. Just trying to figure out who you can actually start attacking. Uh, which is a bit of a nightmare. So, what else can we do here? Can't get the tea parlor, we've got no tea. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, start building up our city some more, though. Um, population's very crappy here, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, eh. Once we get to a million, screw it. Let's do it. It's population here, 800k. Oh, wow, it was actually at max. Jeez, alright, we actually need to upgrade that to a city a lot sooner than that. Uh, here, though, yeah, close to a million, too. Amazing. Alright, let's do it, shall we? Let's attack this place. Just because just I haven't seen these units before. And I want to. And... Walls are injured a bit. Is it worth doing? I really should just delegate this. I really should just delegate this. And we've got to have a battle, though. We've got to end on a battle. It's that simple. Got to end on a battle. Otherwise it's boring. Yeah, we've got to end on a battle. Just, we should never relent. Never. We never will. This day is done. Tong we Chan. shall be victors. We better be. Okie dokie. This is nice. Look at this. Farms around it. Yeah, it looks cool. It's very cool. Uh, I don't see any... Any towers damaged, though. Ah. Oh. Yeah, hold the wall over here, though. Oh, and then what? Let me just run into this bloody wall. Man, it's a big old military building, isn't it? That's cool. Very cool. Hmm. What's this one? Communal irrigated farms. Oh, look at these communal irrigated farms. Huh. And look at... Oh, there's one. And look at the Scholar's Library. And... And... Is that really all the buildings you have there? Oh, there's another one here. The communal guildhouse, is that? Yeah, come on. Oh, the communal grain silo. Alright, cool. Well, that was interesting. Uh, let's go over here. Go through these walls. God, I've got a lot of stuff here, don't I? Okay, so go there. You. Start heading for those walls. Thank you. Alright, let's just go ahead and start it. So you go for the gatehouse. Uh, you are lovely and hidden. So you can start shooting those archers, which are yellow turban ones. So let's go have a look at them. Hello there. I like they're actually wearing yellow turbans. They weren't lying. It's not a ruse. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right, so we'll start shooting them. Should be rather nice. Uh, some stuff is on fire over here, which is a bit scary. These guys getting shot at somewhat. Don't much like that. And... 
I think we just need to move all our archers up and start shooting the snot out of these guys, don't we? They got good missile resist, though, which is a pity. Oh, they have no missile resist. Now that is a pity. Okay, you guys... I mean, it's all just swords, so... Cavalry is just going to mess them up if I can get close. So, I think we just charge everything in. I think we just charge everything in. Okay, let's see how this goes. Not sure how well it's going to go, honestly. Bob and weave! Bob and weave! Excellent. You guys are good at this. Yeah, keep serpentining. Oh, you're great at this. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Lovely. Right, let's just charge straight in. Oh, you go for them. And, yeah, everyone's just moving in on these guys. Nope, not you. Uh, where's my other archers? I'm sure I had another unit. Just the four? Maybe it was. But they're nearly dead, which is nice. Um, always nice to see. So, yep, you just lay waste to them, please. Oh, nope, they're running. They're running. You're out of ammo now, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, you start climbing those walls. Good. Guys, charge into those uh, white wave veterans. They seem interesting. Uh, you guys, I guess just start shooting over at them, huh? Uh, get the axemen in. Start moving over there. They're very injured. These guys should break very quickly. Men have been discovered. That's fine. That's fine. Not that fussed about it. And yep, they're wheeling around. Good, good. Good stuff. Uh, wow. They're getting very hurt here, aren't they? Okay, you guys also climb the walls. Yep, you're charging in lovely there. Excellent. Alright, now you guys start charging back. Uh, or... You guys, actually, go kill him. Yeah, go kill them. Take the, take the center. Uh, although, yeah, he can reach there as well. Which... Yeah, they mess up cavalry far too quickly. Are they running yet? No, they're not. Wow. Alright, you go for them instead. Uh, you guys. Seem a bit busy here. So you go for them. Oh, no, not you. You go for them. Just get on the walls, is what I'm telling you. Yeah, there we go. Kill them. Good stuff. Uh, yep. They're struggling somewhat. Good stuff. And you guys start shooting at... Um them, I guess? Cool. Cool stuff. They should be. They should be running. They should be indeed. They're taking the tower. Nice. Uh, you guys get down there and start shooting them. And you guys just stop, I think. God, look at all those arrows. That's an obscene amount of arrows. Wow, extreme unit sizes, guys. It's a treat. Yep, keep going. Uh, you. Nope, sorry, you. Put up that melee defense. Nope, you're over there still. Never mind. I was thinking who's in here. Oh god, they're charging to the back. This doesn't look good for them, huh? Does not look good for them. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'd be running. Oof. Victory. Oh, cool. They all just gave up, did they? Good news. I'd have given up, too. So there we go. There's that battle. Nice and quick. Yeah, turbos are cool though. Yeah, turbos are cool. Units seem a little different to uh, to the others, which is nice. Good to have that bit of variety. You know, they feel uh, I don't know. They feel like like a rebellion. I find. So. All shall hear of this. They lost a lot of guys. I lost some guys. And uh, it does seem like these guys are gonna be weak to cavalry generally, which is very good news. It would be a shame not to take it. That is very good news. But yeah, there should be another army up there. And, nope, you can't get there that turn. That's fine. But yeah, having these two armies, I should be able to just sweep through um, the rest of these guys' territories. Because, uh, yeah, taking Wudu. Uh, Wudu? Wudu? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Um, you guys. Tribute? No, nah, not yet. Fine. Let them get softened up a bit more first. But it seems like they are doing very well for themselves. 
They do seem to be doing well for themselves. Yeah, they're taking a lot of this stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is bad. And uh, Yuran Chao here, why well, his army? It seems to be a bit stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm not sure he's going to be able to survive here. He's got another army coming there. Where's where's the man himself? Where is he? Because um, I don't see him anywhere. I think he might have got defeated in combat, you know. Yeah, I think he got. I think he got defeated. Because I don't see. I don't see like a plaque with his name on anywhere. And there should be. Oh, I don't see uh, Gong Sun Zan either. So, don't know. But yeah, they've taken tch, most of his territory, all because he had all his armies over here, and then declared. I mean, he started the war. Yuan Shuen. Um, Yur no, Yuan. Yuan Shao. Sorry. So yeah, bizarre. Very bizarre. But oh well. Um, so I guess he's gonna have to live with that, and hopefully, we can fight off Gong Sun Zan at some point, or maybe just be friends with him instead. <laughs> Because he seems to have replaced our old friend. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this lark. Because this isn't going great. This is a lot of land that I don't want all owned by one person. It's not great. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next one. Um, hopefully we can take over some more territory over here. And uh, consolidate this area. Um, certainly we're going to remain friends with uh, Kong Rong for a while. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we won't have to worry about uh, Liu Bu or anything. And we can just take out whatever's here. And that'll be fine. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, come back tomorrow for more of this lake. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, more of this. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Have a good one, guys.